Now we can start to take apart the gun. We'll start with taking the gun manifold apart and with your 5 16 nut driver, you can remove the center block and bolt. If this is a new application that you're going to install on your rig, you're gonna to want to follow your manufacturer's pressure relief and shutdown procedures. So first we're gonna do is make sure our a and B valves are closed. We can now remove the gun manifold from the gun. You can now install your A and B hoses and put it to the side. Now we can look at the bottom of the gun where we can see our check valves. The A side check valves are stamped, the resin side is not. To remove the check valves, there is a little recessed area where you can put a flat screwdriver in and carefully pry the check valve out. You want to be careful not to damage the, the gun body itself. Next, we can remove our side seals. You have a couple options here. If you are only requiring to remove and clean or check your check valves, you can completely remove them if you need to remove the front of the gun head, you will need to loosen off your check valves to take the tension off the chamber inside. Also, if you need to change or clean your mix tip, you can do so with your 5 16 nut driver. If you look on the mix tip, it's gonna be labeled, this one being an 01 chamber mix tip. So we can now actually go ahead and remove the front of the gun with your 5 16 nut driver. That will come out. You'll have times where the mix chamber will, will stay on the gun as you remove the, the front of the gun and sometimes it'll actually come out with, with the uh, the front of the gun. On the mix chamber itself, they will have a stamp on it. This one, the letter B, indicating on the chart that it is a 0.042 mix chamber. And at this time, you're going to want to check the face of the impingement ports where your side seals will make contact and just make sure that is free of any damage or wear. And you can also then check and clean the impingement ports with the appropriate sized cleaning bit. Now we can go ahead and fully remove the side seals. You will also notice the side seals on the A side are, are stamped with the letter A as well. And basically your front of your gun assembly is now removed and no wear parts are no longer in place. As I mentioned before, the 2000 pound version will come with polymer side seals, which this one does. And at this time, you would want to check the surface of the side seal itself for any damage or wear. 
and also make sure the spring inside is clean as well. And go to your check valves. You can remove your screens, clean or replace them as necessary. You can also disassemble the check valve with a flathead screwdriver and check the condition of the ball and spring.